Hi, my name is Chris at CMI Electrical. Today I want to talk to you about our LD2-3 water leak detection system. This is it. Um, we'll start off with the detection cables. This is a detection cable. It's a four core multi-colored leak detection cable. Uh, this it has an end of line, which it plugs from the end of here and connects to a white signal cable, which is a two core signal cable that connects into uh, a two way terminal block here. The red wire goes to the A plus and the black wire goes to the A negative. It's exactly the same for zone two, if you have zone two fitted, uh, it just connects like exactly the same. These blue pots here are the sensitivity adjustment pots. You get one per zone, so if you have a two zone you will have two. Um, and you turn it anti-clockwise to desensitise it and uh, clockwise to uh, sensitise it. So depending on the areas, if you have a slightly damp area that you're getting the odd uh, alarm, uh, you can obviously desensitize that zone to um, uh, stop the alarms from occurring. These little red push buttons here, one for every zone, it's a test button. So you can press the button if you want to test it to go into alarm. And again, as I say, uh, you have one per zone so obviously zone two will have one as well um, down here you have the incoming supply terminal so your live earth neutral uh, terminal there uh, next to it you'll have its individual valve control now this is an optional extra so it depends on whether uh, you have you want want it or not or whether it's going to be fitted so um, your two terminals here will be individual zone uh, valve control per zone or you can have common valve control, uh, which obviously, if you have a two zone, any of those two zones go into alarm, will turn off a valve. Um, as you can see down there, you've got your live earth and neutral, uh, exactly the same for the second zone. Moving along, if fitted, uh, the, another optional extra, you can have uh, individual volt-free contacts per zone. So if you want to uh, connected to a BMS system and, and the BMS system, the BMS system to know which zone has gone into alarm you have these fitted again it was a little greenway thermal block on there uh, and it's uh, a volt free contact uh, moving along you have a common alarm volt free contact this is standard with the LD2-3 products uh, again can also be connected to a BMS system so when the panel goes into alarm it will notify the BMS system that uh, alarm has occurred next to that one we have the fault bolt free contact. Uh, so that is if the cable gets damaged, and I'll illustrate it by pulling out the terminal in that zone. You can see it says zone 140. This is, to, and, and the bolt free contact on that fault terminal will change. So it will notify the BMS system that um, a fault has occurred with the cable. So if the cable gets damaged, trodden on or trampled, um, it will obviously uh, throw up a, a fault alarm. Next to that one, we have a beacon terminal uh, to connect a flashing beacon or a flashing and audible beacon, depending on your application. Uh, next to that one, you have an SMS uh, three-way terminal block uh, for connection to a three-user text messaging system or our more complicated 100-user text and email system. Um, just to show the operation of the valves and how the valve works, I'll put zone one into alarm uh, and show you uh, how the valve turns in, uh, in and out. So, put zone one into alarm, a little LED comes on, and as you can see, the valve is starting to close. Over here, if you need the water supply to come back on, we have an override facility, a little red button there, so it's override valve shutdown. If you hold that down for five to six seconds, it will open, the valve back up, allowing the water supply back on, as you can see. This will repeat for zone two. Uh, again, if you have common control, valve control, then obviously you'll only have one terminal fitted and it will turn off that particular valve uh, when there's a, a, a leak. Um, that's all, thank you very much for watching my video.